have 35 secret cars. But what does that even mean? <laughs> like, whoa. What am I talking about? <laughs> I'm back in the Crew Motor Fest today to talk about something rather fishy. Something incredibly suspicious. And it talk and it goes back to some different things that we've talked about already this update. See, the crew has had a bit of a blunder when it comes to showing off cars that are upcoming this update. Not only have they revealed them really early, they've told us about every year one pass car upcoming. We know about the Integra, the Jeep Gladiator, the... Nissan Z Forceberg Edition, the Nissan Altima Forceberg Edition, and we also know about the Lycan Hypersport and the Lotus Emira. Those are all cars that are coming to the Crew Motorfest, and we know that thanks to them, thanks to Ivory Tower. But then there's a bunch of other cars that, well, um, I don't think Ivory Tower was supposed to add and supposed to. Well, scratching the front of this car gave it like. Mascara, I gave it like face paint. Nice. There's a bunch of cars that, well, I found and then I told you guys about that I don't think Ivory Tower was supposed to add. Because obviously, they posted themselves about the year one pass all the way up to the very end of it. We got the Gladiator, the Integra, we got this thing, we got these things, we got so much stuff that they told us about and they showed us way too early in my opinion but what am i gonna do about it they also told us about the toyota gr86 which is being added and that one gets added in two weeks i believe yeah so this wednesday we get this thing right here the stealth edition and then the week after we get not only the Integra, not only the Gladiator, not only a brand new main stage, but we also get the Toyota GR86. But those are pretty immediate. But there's other issues. <laughs> See, I made a whole video talking about how right over here, the Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale 1968 was accidentally put in the game as except on this vanity item to tell you that you can't put this vanity on that car. I believe they've done that again with a rabid vanity out this week. It's unfortunate that that's happened again. They also then later on accidentally showed us the Zenvo, that being specifically Shmi's spec Zenvo, meaning likely we're gonna get a base model Zenvo as well. But these aren't the most important ones for what I'm talking about today. So what am I even on about? Because if I go on the game right now, you'll notice on shop, you can see clearly 665 out of, uh, 666, wow, that's un that's unfortunate. Damn, it's like the spooky number. But if I go owned, you can see the only one I don't own, the Alpha GP Explorer. I own every single other car. But again, when I put that on, 665. And even back here, it says 665. I only own 665 cars. So where are these 35 extra cars in the game? Well, for some reason, when they updated Ubisoft Connect, good on Ubisoft, they're so, they're so great, aren't they? They removed a feature when they updated this. Look at that, now that's such a Ubisoft thing to do. Um, you can't see your stats anymore on Ubisoft Connect. Because Ubisoft is so good! But now by going to Ubisoft Connect on browser, you can then log in. Right once you're logged in and you've clicked on games up here in the top right, you'll see the games catalog and you can see all your games and then you go on Motorfest. Rather simple. Scroll down to stats and leaderboards. It's at the bottom here. This is where your stats for the game is now. In fact, if we scroll down a bit, you'll notice. Oh, would you look at that? Demo Royale. We've got Demo Royale participations. We've got 467 played, 126 wins in Demo Royale. Oh, and would you look at that? How many kills? 1,299 kills. What's that, like a 3.8 KD? That's right, I got 3.8 KD in Demo Royale. That's just me. <laughs> so yeah, your stats for the game are here. That's how you find them now. Fast fave use. 2,300. Emotes sent 414. Sev uh, that seems like a lot more. Rewinds use 7,000. What's the biggest, like, number on here? Is it that? Whoa. Total summit points, 19 million. Distance traveled by 55 million of something. They don't give a unit. Game progression, time played, 611 hours. Game progression, 100%. Motorfest level, 483. Vehicle zoned. 702. In fact, some people have 703, 711, and 724? 
What? Wait, hang on. There's so many more. Wait, there's so many more. Wait, what? 724? <laughs> what? Wait, but how? Because I own everything. How could you own more than everything plus whatever this secret amount is? What? How many more even is that? 35 plus an extra 2, then plus 20. So, 55? 55 cars? What? Wait, so this might be more broken than I even originally thought. Because, well, let me tell you what I originally believed this to be. Cars that are upcoming don't really make sense, and this is why. See, cars being added to the game soon doesn't make sense to me for the fact that, well, I don't own those cars. Why would it say vehicle owned if I don't own those cars? I, I, in fact, I'm gonna say right now, go on the game and see how many it says you own on top of your official number. If it's over the overall official number, go on and look, cause God damn, for like 55 cars on top of the, the actual number you're supposed to have? Whoa, search Ubisoft Connect and go look. But, but when it comes to upcoming vehicles, I don't own them, right? It doesn't make sense for me to have owned those cars in any sense of the word, like the GT86. I mean, maybe the year one pass cars make sense because those you get for free if you have the year one pass. So maybe the game has just immediately given the year one pass cars already and they're just not available to us yet. But in the game's code, they are, I guess. So, that being six more cars, right? GERA6 doesn't make sense because I'm going to have to buy that. And nothing else really makes any sense. Except for one thing. But it doesn't fill up enough gaps is the only issue. But it does get us a bit closer. See, a while ago, I also revealed how Stellantis Italy had returned in a race in the game. This car right here should not have been here because this car right here secretly... Because this car right here isn't in the game yet. They've not even revealed that they're returning to Lantis Italy, yet it's right there as well. The cars that that confirms are on the crew too. Those cars are the Abarth, Alfa Romeo, and Lancia. And that's 15 cars in total, not 35, not 55 for sure. But it is a lot, plus the 33 Stradale, you know, that's at least three extra cars, that's 18 in total. We're nearing 20, so we are closing in, but then obviously there's there's something else as well that could be in the running, but I'm just not sure. Because we do have this racing car, a monster truck, a bunch of rallycross cars, and then a bunch of street cars, but we also have cars that have returned to the crew too, or come to the crew too and will return to Motorfest, sorry. It's this thing, the Evo Group B RX-7, as well as two brand new Maseratis. There's a chance that these two new Maseratis have been added to Motorfest, but just haven't been activated yet because maybe they're not finished, but they're still counted in the car list. But that's only an extra three because I don't own the upcoming, I don't own the Jaguars that are coming out soon. I own an extra something called the Mad Edition. I guess that's an extra floor, but we're still only at like 22. Truly, I wonder what are these extra cars that the game says we own? Now they could just be bugged. Yes, they, they, they could just be bugged. This would be a much shorter video if we knew it was bugged and I could just go, hey, by the way, guys, we own this many extra cars. Go check how many cars you own. And, you know, it's a bug. But there's no excitement in that. I don't want to speculate. That's what I'm here for speculation. And that's what I'm here to do and am doing, is speculating. Because what on earth are these other cars? Let me know what you think, because there's so much it could be. Because maybe the game just considers upcoming cars owned? That's the only thing I can think of, is that even though I don't own these upcoming cars, maybe the game just thinks I do it. Oh, I accidentally quit the game. Oh, well, thank you to popular members and a special thank you to famous members. And I didn't say thank you to star members Grim Pepper and Extreme Speed. And an insane, insane top of the top. Thank you to Icon members HK and Extreme Speed again. I'll see you boys in the next one in a bit.